Have you ever had your room service arrive by robot? How about being served by a robot in a restaurant? Have you used an app to check where the queues are at a theme park? Or scanned a QR code to buy a ticket for a tourist attraction? Have you been on a virtual reality ride or taken a virtual trip someplace? If so, then you have come across smart tourism. Smart tourism is changing the way that we travel for the better. And in this video, I'm going to teach you all about how embracing smart tourism is helping to make the travel and tourism industry more efficient and more sustainable. It is a fascinating topic if you ask me, so stay tuned to learn more. If you are new here, my name is Dr. Hayley Stainton and I'm here to teach you all things travel and tourism. Smart tourism is defined according to the technological capabilities of a particular destination, attraction or the tourists themselves. Many destinations are now modernising to include increased use of smart technology in their operations, ranging from payment methods to interactive activities. Essentially, smart tourism is the act of tourism agents utilising innovative technologies and practices to enhance resource management and sustainability, whilst also increasing the business's overall competitiveness. The ultimate aim of smart tourism is to improve the efficiency of resource management, maximise competitiveness and enhance sustainability through the use of technological innovations and practices. And one destination that is leading the way with their smart tourism industry is China. Here, tourists use their phones to do simple tasks such as paying for taxis, ordering meals, checking queue times, reading information on the destination or attraction, and using QR codes in all walks of life, really. So the term smart has become somewhat of a buzzword in recent years. In essence, for something to be smart, it needs to have complex technological capabilities in order to allow for the exploitation of a range of information that is used to then inform product development and operation. And whilst the average tourist might not know what goes on behind the scenes, I can assure you that there is a lot that goes on behind the scenes. Whilst the concept of smart isn't directly correlated with technology, in today's world they are inevitably intertwined. In order to be smart, destinations, attractions and other tourism industry stakeholders will use a variety of technological innovations and practices. As such, the use of technology is at the heart of the concept of sustainable tourism. As outlined by Buhalis and Amarangana, smart tourism destinations take advantage of technology embedded environments, responsive processes at micro and macro levels, end user devices in multiple touch points, and engaged stakeholders that use the platform dynamically as a neural system. Okay, so we know that smart tourism is all about being smart and it's about technology, but let's look at some examples of this in practice. At the heart of smart tourism is technology, that much is clear. But the key is how this technology is used to make the tourism agent, which could be a destination management organisation, a tourist attraction, a hotel, a restaurant, etc, operate more effectively. And here are some ways that this happens. There's accessibility. Accessibility is often facilitated through the use of technology. This means that everyone has access to the tourism provider, regardless of age, gender, religion, race, sexuality or disability. A smart tourism attraction or destination should have a well-developed transport infrastructure that enables all types of people to travel. For example, there is a wheelchair access and lifts for parents with prams, etc. This should also include reasonably priced transport options, which will usually be public transport. At the attraction or the destination itself, there should be opportunities for everybody to access all areas. This may include lifts, ramps, things like that. Smart tourism accessibility also includes language communications. There are many examples of tourism providers who offer translations and information in multiple languages. This can be done through the use of apps, QR codes or differentiated activities, for example. We then have sustainability. Sustainable tourism is at the forefront of many tourism agents' plans and operations nowadays, and for good reason. 
As I explained in my video all about sustainable tourism, these practices not only help to provide a good image of the organisation, but they also help to combat the negative social, environmental and economic impacts of tourism. An important arm of smart tourism is the sustainability sector. Tourism agents which operate successful smart tourism initiatives should have a considerable focus on sustainability, reducing their carbon footprint, adopting environmentally friendly approaches and taking into account the host communities and their needs. There are many ways that organisations can use smart technology to improve their sustainability practices. Helsinki demonstrated their commitment to sustainable tourism during their Sustainable Flow Festival. And Estonia have their Green Key initiative. At a more local level, there are many eco-hotels, eco-lodges, eco-resorts, etc. all around the world, as well as socially beneficial forms of tourism such as volunteer tourism. Of course, having sustainable practices alone doesn't qualify a tourism agent as a smart tourism provider. These practices need to be underpinned by technologies, such as the use of solar panel lighting, for example. Information sharing. One of the key advancements in enabling smart tourism to occur in recent years is the growth of information sharing platforms. The digitalization of modern day society has opened up a wealth of opportunities for tourism providers to share information to a wide range of tourist types. The growth of social media, QR codes and mini programs has provided tourism agents with opportunities that were not available before. Tourism organizations can now use these opportunities to provide information prior, during and after the tourist visit. They can also utilize more efficient promotional materials and marketing on all of these online platforms. Complex algorithms, cookies and other digital monitoring methods can help organizations to be more and more in tune with their consumers or potential consumers. This allows them to develop more suitable and targeted products. Organizations have been capitalizing on the new possibilities of smart tourism information sharing by adopting electronic means of sharing this information. For example, in a museum or exhibit, encouraging the use of particular social media hashtags and geotagging and developing custom made apps, research and management tools. Nowadays, there are so many methods of obtaining and monitoring information. It's great. Organizations have a wealth of data at their fingertips. Adopting smart tourism research and management tools, such as designing a custom made tourism flow monitor or developing a tailor made CRM program can dramatically improve business outcomes. A good example of a destination that has implemented smart tourism research and management tools in this way is Malaga. Here they have introduced a parking app to help travelers park more effectively and reduce congestion. And then we have smart tourist experiences. Perhaps the most obvious type of smart tourism, for the tourist at least, is the smart tourist experience. Destinations, attractions and other tourism providers are now adopting innovative technological approaches to develop and enhance the tourism experience that they offer. This ranges from augmented reality applications to gaming and virtual reality. In the UK, the Hub Hotel from Premier Inn has made augmented reality compatible with the wall maps in hotel rooms. When these maps are viewed through a smart device, the wall maps present additional information about some of the local places of interest. Other examples could be virtual reality roller coasters or hot air balloons where you feel like you're actually on the ride or in the balloon or whatever it might be without actually moving anywhere. So is smart tourism the future of tourism? Yes, yes, I, I definitely would say so. And it's exciting. There's a lot to be excited about. And we really can make the industry so much better if we use these technologies in a positive way. So I think you are set to see lots more smart tourism on your travels. And by the way, what have you seen? Have you seen robots in hotels? Have you been served by robots? Let me know in the comments.